So we just left Crazy James Point. Uh, we have a 24 mile paddle today. Yeah, pretty easy paddle, no portages and uh, no lakes, so we're pretty excited for that. Last few days been lakes and lakes and portages. So tonight we are standing with Sandy Brunshackle. I'm not sure if that's how you say her last name, but Sandy is a river angel on the Mississippi for paddlers like us that are going to the Gulf and things like that. And she helps us out with supplies and a place to stay. So we're staying in her camper tonight and look forward to meeting her. So should be a good day, sunny day. finished day six of our paddling, uh, just just got out of about 10 miles of marsh and uh, as we're coming in here we landed at this dock, there's actually uh, a married couple here, Sandy and Jeff, Roman and Shekel, I believe that's how you say it, and uh, they're what they call river angels and they provide places for people like us that are canoeing uh, on the river, a place to stay and a place to do some laundry, so this is their own personal dock that we got to pull up to and then if you follow me up here, Right over here we got where we're going to stay tonight. Uh, they have a pop-up camper that they're uh, gracious enough to let us stay in. So that's going to be a real, really nice treat. It's got some air conditioning and that's going to be really nice tonight. And then obviously over here is uh, their house. So we're really excited to be here tonight and really thankful to uh, Sandy and Jeff for letting us stay. Okay, so first we want to ask you, um, I guess, what you do as a river angel. Or explain maybe what it means to be a river angel, I guess. And what you do? <laughs> I guess we didn't even know we were <clears throat> river angels. We were just helping people. So, and then Dale Sanders comes through and called us a river angel. So now we know what we are. <laughs> yeah. Well, people last year were saying that there was river angels or whatever. So. But who knew? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> There's times, some people, you know, that just get here like halfway during the day, they just stop and, you know, feed them a meal or something, or, you know, mm -hmm. let them use a real bathroom. <laughs> Sometimes that's a big thing, and, or take a shower or wash clothes, and, you know, some people like you guys camp. You know, we've had people just pitch tents in the yard, or some have used the camper, and some have actually stayed in the house and slept in the beds. And yeah. There's one boy that he really needed help. It had been raining for three days and I was washing dishes looking out the window and then he just pops up on the deck. Can I camp in your yard? So we brought him in and <coughs> helped him out. And it had been raining. All of his electronics were dead. Everything he had was soaked. So we just got him on his feet again. All right, so next we want to know like what why do you like to do this, or what kind of inspires you to help people that are coming by on the river? I guess I'm just so happy to live here that it's just nice to be able to help people and just show them Minnesota nice and hospitality and <laughs> <laughs> stuff like that. And, oh, so. and I, I like to hear everybody's story. Everybody's got a different story. They're canoeing for different reasons. like you guys for prevention of suicide other guys habitat for humanity there's and some guys are just doing it for fun mm -hmm. but everybody has a story and every story has been interesting yes yeah. right, perfect
shotgun rider today so it'll be fun to have somebody with on the boat and he's gonna do a little fishing so hopefully he catches some while we paddle. He looks, he looks not happy with us. He probably doesn't see many paddlers. Uh oh. It's okay, guy, we're just paddling to the golf. 
We're just going to the Gulf. We don't mean to bother your family time. Any harm. Bye bye now.